All right, now we are going to talk about iCloud. So iCloud was introduced by Apple just about a year or so ago, and it's essentially a way for you to store all your documents and other information right into the Apple Cloud. So what does that mean for you? It means you get five gigabytes of free storage for your documents, your music, and just about anything else that you want to store. But it's not like Dropbox where you basically can access it in a folder format. You have to access it from your Apple device. That's the big drawback. So I'm going to show you how you set it up. So we'll hit on settings right here. And I already have the iCloud tab open, as you can see, but you can always navigate down on the left right here, see where it says iCloud. Just tap on that, <clears throat> and then you can select what you want to sync across iCloud. And this should be already set up if you set up your iPad the way that I uh, recommended at the onset. So if you haven't set it up, you can always hit the create new account and follow those prompts. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, just make sure you select the free plan. And then at some point you'll get this option where you can click on the name and it will show you the storage plan that you have. And it'll also give you a, you know, a little bit of in other information. So we can click on storage plan and you can see the other options. So as of right now, it's, you can get 10 gigs, you can double it for 20 bucks a year, uh, or you can get 20 or 50 gigs. So it's pretty, pretty good deal if you like to store a lot of information. Uh, such as mail, contacts, calendars, reminders, Safari, uh, notes, keychain, photos, documents, and find my iPad. So let's walk through those. Mail, that means that you can access your mail just like you do Gmail, but you can access your at me uh, account anywhere. Or And then contacts is also means that it, it syncs all of your contact listings. So if you have, you know, a thousand different friends, family, and colleagues that you keep track of, this could be a really safe and good way to do that. So make sure it's ticked on. So if you take it off like this, it'll warn you uh, and you can keep it on your iPad or delete from your iPad and all that stuff. So uh, we'll just put it back on at some point. There you go. Okay, so now we'll check out calendars, which literally means that you sync all your calendars into the cloud and it shows up on all your devices. Reminders means if you set a reminder on your iPhone while walking down the street, it'll show up on your iCloud calendar uh, and therefore on your Mac and on your iPad and your iPod Touch and all that stuff. Uh, Safari, it stores all of your bookmarks, which I have found to be extremely helpful. And notes, sort of similar. It'll store all the notes that you scratch out while you're going about your day. Uh, Keychain is a little bit more interesting, so that is actually all your passwords and credit card information. So I turn that off purely from a privacy and safety perspective. I'd rather type in, you know, my credit card rather than having it stored somewhere where I can't control it. So that's just personal preference, but it will save you a lot of time if you use it. Photos, I think, is one of the coolest things, and that's what's going to eat up all of your, <laughs> all of your iCloud memory. So if you have 15 gigs of photos at, at the start on your iPad right now and you hit sync to iCloud, then iCloud's going to quickly get filled up and will tell you that you need to upgrade plans. So something to keep in mind. Documents and data is pretty cool. So it'll store pretty much just what it says, all your documents and data. So if you use Pages, it works with that, uh, which is a great app that works on the Mac and on your device, your iDevice. Find My iPad, I've walked you through uh, in a previous lesson where it basically Find My iPad lets you find a lost or stolen iPad or iMac, or not iMac, or iPhone. Basically your iDevice where, you know, you can actually see where it is, which is great. And for more information, you can always hit uh, the storage and backup tab. So how do you buy more backup or buy more storage rather? You can just tap the buy more storage button. Uh, if you want to do a manual sync, you can tap the backup now button, which is on the bottom. So there's a lot more to iCloud than just the iMac. So I'm going to pull open this right here. And now I'll give you a little look at what iCloud looks like on your desktop or laptop. So basically, if you sync all that stuff that I just walked you through, it'll all appear on the desktop as well at, as you can see, iCloud.com. So if you want to use Find My iPhone or Contacts or Calendar, all that stuff, 
Uh, you can set up reminders, have a calendar, have all your contacts, and it all looks pretty nice. Uh, if you're used to using Gmail, you should be comfortable with the Mail app, to be honest. Uh, I'll pull it open for you here. Sometimes it can run a little bit slow, but it might be my computer I'm on as well. So as you can see, it's all pretty straightforward. It looks just like your iPad, really. Uh, you can always just navigate around, check your, check your VIPs, and then hit the cloud button, and it'll bring you right back here. Same goes for contacts and notes, all that stuff. So we're just gonna open up that real quick, and you can see that it's a notepad, all that stuff. So say hello, buy a new iPad, take a modern lesson. All right, and one last point that I wanted to make about iCloud is the built-in apps of Pages, Numbers, and Keynote. This is awesome if you're a teacher, uh, if you're a student, and really just anybody who wants to make sure they don't lose their documents or presentations or spreadsheets. So Pages lets you create you know, really cool Word documents, Numbers lets you make awesome Excel-esque spreadsheets, and Keynote is obviously the presentation software. So this is all available on iCloud, which means you can actually create a Pages or a Keynote right in iCloud. So you don't need to <clears throat> actually have the software on your computer, which is pretty great. It'll also uh, save everything right in iCloud, so you don't have to you know, actually save it on Dropbox or something like that. Uh, it'll walk you through how it all works, and you can always just hit Create Presentation, pulls up a thing. We're not going to do that right now. So I'll just click back here, and that's iCloud. And then it's easy to set up right on your iPad as well. Let me know if you have any questions.